Hello. You're in my room with me. So uh, this video is uh, called ACLU and Obama. So I'm including Obama in this video because I just heard some shit. I I went into uh, this morning. Uh, today's like the third right of September 2014, and Obama's on TV talking about. You know, Americans being hurt. And I, I just laughed because it, he's using this as an excuse to justify war and acts of terrorism against other people. And I, I just got to thinking about it, you know. Um, when he's claiming that Americans are being hurt and saw the name of Americans being hurt, he's, uh, he's lying. And people like me, see, I'm an American has been hurt. But guess who hurt me? It's the American government. So what's this drivel shit of him getting on TV and propagating false messages about how this is all in the name of Americans getting hurt? Uh, and so my thought was uh, that it's mind-controlled drivel. We hear these messages on television and the president is routinely running the same shit uh, messages to control people. And it is justifying wars and acts of terrorism in the name of something that even the president doesn't even believe in. And so there's 10,000 Americans have been hurt or more. Hundreds of thousands in the past by American government. So I don't think that his justification is actually... Americans getting hurt because he is not protecting Americans from his own government. And so I, I think that these messages that I'm hearing on television are him and people in government seeding lies, which the population who's not getting hurt, of course, believes, uh, oh, it's all for them so they don't get hurt, right? And they never get told what's happening. And, uh, but these people, it's all about getting justification in people's minds and seeding false messages. And then people are so confused on what this world is, they don't even know. And what I'm, t I'm telling you is that people don't know what is happening, um, anywhere. They only know these messages they're told. Um, but they don't, but they seem to be pretty brainwashed. Uh, re effectively brainwashed by these messages and it's just it's all they gotta do is get on TV and have a speech and then everyone uh, believes that type of shit and so many messages are seeded that no nobody's going against this shit and it it's uh, so corrupt that <laughs> this is really happening at all levels this is in Congress this is in corp what corporations do this is this is what special interests do and unions they're all together on this type of shit um so then the ACLU also went to appeals court and now they're they're fighting surveillance under the 4th amendment and justice mm -hmm. department is oh we have all three branches of government have found this to be permissible uh, under the Patriot Act and uh, we could spy on everybody and tap all their calls the internet and no probable cause necessary uh, to do a search and seizure first which is what all this is about they're searching us before there's probable cause which is taking away our privacy because actually Americans don't know that they have no privacy now and what this is about and they don't even realize that it's just the same as someone taking a camera and recording your genitals all day long and thinking that they have the right to know what your genitals look like. This is what the, or to know what your thoughts are, to know what you're doing 24 seven and have it recorded. And this information is available for government and government agents are the only ones with access. People tied with the government. Government agents are really individuals though. They're the same as you and me. And they're using this for their own power for their own purpose, to gain power. 
uh, and maintain power and population control over us. And we're, we don't have any equivalent power on our side. We can't spy on them. We can't find out if they're lying about things. There's things that happen that we're being lied to about. And it's, ma it's known amongst government that that's happening. It's a mass deception of, of everything. Everything's a deception. Everything is some type of seeded messages, psychological warfare, because they're keeping control over people. And we have no power if we try to fight back. They got military weapons now locked under all our heads and brains. They got rubber bullets. They got LRADs and satellites and ground-based antennas. And they're watching us and they direct. They could kill us all, by the way. And they have FEMA camps too. And they have such a massive army that's always there now. They have the police, they have the FBI, the Homeland Security guys, the military. It's always there and we're always in danger and at risk now. And they're basically targeting every person. But the ACLU people, their lawsuit's a joke because they still haven't acknowledged most of what is happening. They don't, you know, uh, Snowden released bullshit documents that don't cover the true operations, but are what somebody manufactured and put in the NSA's computers. Snow installed those. They're all a bunch of joke documents. Uh, the fact of the matter is there's programs coming and operating on so many levels. Uh, some of them are special access programs. Some of them are done under executive order, which are spe special access programs, you know, and then you have, uh, there's this, Old executive order, uh, 12, triple three, uh, and you have military operations and technology on top of this. Then you have covert criminal surveillance. See, they're not targeting the covert criminal surveillance, um, but it's, it's there. It's widespread. Everything that the conspiracy, quote, conspiracy theorists ever talked about was always there and validated. And it's validated at different levels by different people. Whistleblowers, data that's available. Now, the thing with the ACLU is they're taking... They're basically filing false lawsuits. And they're ignoring that there's criminal surveillance. And there's surveillance that's not documented in law. It's not documented in law. It's not documented in any documents. And when they go to sue... They, they're not doing the whole picture thing. They're not expecting the courts to even... They're not expecting the government to put everything there so we can even see what's happening. If we don't know what's happening, they're falsely suing people. And it's a game of control. The ACLU is being controlled in court. Everybody is being controlled. All the lawyers who go to court over this being controlled. So the fucking lawsuits are frivolous. And they're not focusing on... A, When's the last time, for example, you heard a, a damn ACLU guy or attorney go, oh, uh, and they also have more than internet and wiretapping. They have satellites and uh, these, these massive fields of antenna on the ground like Harp and Hippus, and there's 25 of them in total. And then there's like thousands of satellites, and they're, they're all... Uh, the, the, the ground-based antenna is, of course, sending signals up to satellites and bouncing radiation off the ionosphere. They, they're watching us. They can do weather manipulation. They're reading our brain waves. This is all real, and this is backed by patents and uh, videos. Uh, they're out there screwing with the whole planet. We're type 1 or approaching type 1 civilization where we control the planet totally, including weather and volcanoes and we can create tornadoes or we can make it so there's no tornadoes that's that's our level of control and this is all out there and uh, we're creating tsunamis and there's different nations uh, there's a lot of weaponization of this and they do it they're testing their superheating clouds they're they're out there fucking with the sand or levitating shit from hundreds of miles away they have these fucking machines that do this and uh, each there's ten nations with the technology, plus the plus somebody else, and uh, and guess what? ACLU doesn't bring up this advanced stuff. And what they could do is see through walls. They have building and ground penetrating tomography. They scan your body. They do it all, uh, and decode brainwaves. Uh, I got a computer program that does that. Get our thoughts. 
They can do clip picks um, by scanning the atoms in your genitals and then in a computer that creates a 3D map of it and then they can convert that to a JPEG and they got a picture of your pussy. High resolution than your fucking phone. T- with your damn iPhone and you take a picture of yourself. That's that's nothing compared to what they got and they do it from far away. And they can... Th- there's a ability to also get uh, memories from your brain directly. What you see here and think, Phil, and all that. It's called remote neural monitoring. Uh, it's all real. And all of our police and all of our FBI and senators and congressmen and various people in government covertly using this shit. And it's it's not even a conspiracy. It, it, there is a conspiracy to keep it all secret. But it's happening. There are levels upon levels of surveillance. And there's videos. There's whistleblowers. And the ACLU does not... Uh, there's even like FBI... Here's a couple of whistleblowers. FBI, Special Agent, Ted Gunnerson. One of the best. He, he came forward. Um, and he, he said, look, I worked uh, F, head of FBI Los Angeles. I worked at FBI, in FBI Cointel Pro, supervisor, supervisory position, right? I, I'm, I was administering some part of that. And I worked at other field offices as the head uh, in charge of everything. Uh, long history, nominated FBI director, 1979. He ended up retiring, going private business after a 30-year career. He confirms this is all real, right? And they also have people following people in the streets. And these are like, this is a covert criminal surveillance where they stalk people. And uh, they have an ability to evade the law because it's all, only other people that, that they're tied up with know about it. And then the, the victims, of course, would be civilians who can be targeted, set up, harassed, killed, uh, and uh, drugged, uh, dosed with radiation, have voices booming in their head, all sorts of weird, just stupid shit. And ACLU doesn't bring any of this up, but they have a massive intelligence source themselves they're they're one of the few places that does have the ability to track this besides government government does this and they know it's there but aclu they get reports from people and they 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 got intelligence from the internet right and so people go up to the aclu thousands of people and they submit requests for help if uh, aclu turns them down every time and uh, it doesn't matter who they are if they're a government agent who's willing to confirm this or a victim, there's no support there. And they're the only law firm in the country that's actually probably tracking this. There is nobody else doing this. There, There's a handful of smaller law firms that have taken interest in it before, but they never do anything. They don't get results. And so what I am saying is that ACLU is falsely pursuing this crap in court and never bringing up anything that's real they're not talking about the extent of it they're not demanding that the they're not really going after the stuff that's criminal and if you don't expose the criminal aspects of how this is all being used and surely you know they established the program and the programs are numerous they're only actually acknowledging a couple of them when they go into court and you know, they're citing some law that necessarily isn't where it's even created. They don't even have the proof that that's a, the law or program that created it, you know. And they don't really know how long it's been going on. And nobody ever attacks the, the fact that there is a there's a deception uh, and there's lies and there's other stuff happening. Criminal things, people dying and getting tortured. The surveillance system is two-way. It can spy on people. But it could also target them for things like abuses. Killing them uh, or uh, impinging their body with radiation and signals intelligence. Those are radio signals that can come from satellites. Focus right on the person. It's directed energy into their body. Military has a program of flagging people. And how do you know this? Because there's so many reports on the internet. I went through it myself. I'm being targeted now. I'm having my body heated and chilled and I'm being masturbated with directed energy. It's it's a it's a program of torture and there's software 
uh, behind it. The fucking software is it's just allowing the automation of this. So all they have to do is flag you. Uh, they've got a stupid computer program. It's like a screensaver generating sound uh, and imagery and sick. It trans- goes up to a satellite or a ground-based radar and it's 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 focused on where the person's position's at and then as they move around the, the earth it tracks them and beams a signal right into their fucking body and it can kill people too uh, give them calcium efflux cut up their brain cut you know directed energy penetrates the outer layers of a person's body and goes into the middle of them uh, where it builds up from multiple directions and that's where it has an effect too so uh, if they want to cut your fucking spinal cord up or something, they could do that. Or if they just want to damage one part of your brain that'll never get looked at. Or if they want to just do some molecular level damage that can't be seen. That's how they kill you. If they want to fuck up your voltage gated calcium channels and give you heart attack or stroke and convulsions and stuff. That's what they do. Uh, and it, it, it'll never be shown up. It'll never show up in any type of fucking forensic investigation. Because there's no tests, our medical uh, shit is very bad. Uh, you have the medical examiner. They don't have an ability to tell what's happening or what happened to a person if it's an environmental thing. Most of, if there's no burns and direct energy doesn't leave burns most of the time, okay. And then you you don't you, what you're having is a nervous system reaction. There's nothing that's going to show up in an autopsy showing that. Um, it'll show up like a natural looking death. And that's that. Only the government knows that this is all fake shit. The government has the technology to tell what's happening everywhere, and they they're tracking these these uh, abuses. Their technology, their surveillance works on government agents too, you know. And they're able to scan a person's brain, including a government agent. There's secrets in their brains. That yeah, that's where all this intelligence really is. Is in their brains, and they keep a secret. It's not put into a fucking slideshow so that people like Snowden can have all these PowerPoint presentations and PDFs on this shit, okay? They don't fucking put this shit into a document so it's it, it ain't something that someone's easily going to fucking uh, steal from the government or find a database of. And there's uh, other programs. That I guess Snowden only had access to one program. And it's a very low-level program that everybody had access to. Uh, police have access to this shit. NSA, different Homeland Security, FBI, they all have access to this same fucking system. And there's levels above that. Uh, in, uh, in the black world, and special access programs, and exceptionally controlled information, and very strict knowledge programs. And this is... The, 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 the military can also build infrastructure up and they don't, you know, it, it's not really restricted what, what they build, okay, and how it's used. There is no, nothing governing that. Um, so they could do whatever they want. And uh, they built things up. And the military is, they, they're the ones who are adding things onto this planet to make it so the whole planet could be controlled. And so they're building technology and platforms and apparatus all over the place. And nobody knows it's there, but it's there. And it's being covertly built up. And uh, it's kind of, you know, it's all done in a way that the public doesn't have any involvement at all. It's illegal, man. And that's their way of doing it. Because if they don't if they don't make a press release about it, the public doesn't get informed or involved. The laws are, are, are all steered away from... Uh, public involvement and transparency so there's things going on too uh, 9-11 needs to be reinvestigated it's uh, uh, Bill Binney was just saying that and there's there's reasons there's things that happen on 9-11 they needed World Trade Center to fall and they didn't tell you how it fell they made it fall with directed energy they dustified it Go to drjudywood.com. And that's 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 something that's... Uh, there could have been something inside the building, too, that they just wanted to destroy. Some, they don't want to leave that building standing. Uh, there's other 
things that happened on 9-11. You know, apparently Bill Binney's saying that they needed uh, something to happen to gain more power, and that's obvious that they would, uh, they wanted to create something that would allow them to justify doing everything that they were doing. And we don't even know why we got attacked. Uh, do you think that terrorists are just out to be vicious? Or do they do what they do for a reason? Or, and are we making ourselves a target? Our military forces are so vicious and strong. I think that we might find that what, we've, what we're experiencing is the signs of our government abusing people around the world. And whatever's happening is... The terrorists know why it's happening. Someone probably knows why they're targeting us on their side. But we kill them before we even find out. So it's about eliminating evidence when we go and we bomb these terrorists. And uh, the government is just taking out these actions to eliminate their enemy. And that helps them keep control over the whole fucking planet in America. America is in this government's control. And... We have no way to verify as civilians what's happening. We don't have our own military, our own signals intelligence. We can't spy on these people to uncover what they're doing. Who's who's uh, spying on them to confirm what's happening? Because they're not ever going to do an investigation on, their, on themselves. They're all involved. It's all uh, like Russell Tice said and different people. When they go to report abuses, it goes right back to the people who are being reported for abuse. The tortures... People who torture get away with the torture, yet the reporters of the torture are uh, convicted and thrown into prison, usually. Look at Bradley Manning, same thing there. Look at what they're trying to do with Edward Snowden. Uh, they prosecute Thomas Drake. and uh, So, people are not able to even talk about the abuse. And that's one of the things my friend told me, too. She said, look, I know that the technology you're telling me is real. I saw documents working at a defense contractor, USIS, confirmed all this, and but I can't tell you much more than I could confirm it exists, and you're the first person I've told outside of uh, this group that I've never told anyone about this. It's, you know, I signed documents saying I couldn't do it, and she said that this is how they keep, actually she, she just said that she would get charged with treason. If she told me anything else and treated like a traitor and a traitor is someone that gets killed or uh, prosecuted uh, or something happens in their life covertly because uh, there's there's a, a system of punishment that's covert and not done through the courts so that's a popular weapon to the military and the government and the FBI and Obama and Homeland Security and CIA 